Hi, I'm Ram. I'm talking to Dr. Janie Tay, a serial entrepreneur and a venture philanthropist. Janie has just embarked on a new initiative, an environmental initiative called Save Our Planet Foundation, with which I'm involved. I'm now talking to her and discussing with her a few issues on this foundation. Janie, you have been active in environmental issues for a long time now. How did actually your involvement with all that start? Since my start of my development of Oyster Cove in Gold Coast, Australia, where I had many beautiful old trees that I wanted to treasure and to keep, and then from there understanding about deforestation in the region, having haze, and the necessary necessity to actually reforestate for every tree that you chop off 20, and that is to balance the carbon dioxide absorption and giving oxygen back to the planet. And also at that time, I was made aware that trees are the emotional energy of the planet. And now I understand why. Jenny, we had talked earlier about your concept of energy green. Can you elaborate a bit on this one, sir, please? If we were to really understand where oxygen comes from, and the only way we get oxygen, from what I know, are through our trees. With the deforestation of a billion trees possibly a year over the last 20 to 50 years, and the ability and should be able to plant 20 trees to one, we should be now planting 400 to 600 billion trees. Having said that, if we were to bring oxygen back to the planet, and the only way is through trees, we would then be able to help the planet with oxygen with a combination of H2 drip water, we'll be able to bring the planet hopefully back to balance sooner rather than later. Jenny, you're now all set to launch the Save Our Planet Foundation, SOPF. Can you talk a little bit about the challenges ahead and how you're planning to overcome and implement this whole concept? Save Our Planet Foundation was set up so that people understand what are the mechanisms and different ways of saving the planet. And this is why we have come up with this wonderful website Save Our Planet Foundation website, where it is educational, inspiring, impactful, um, giving people understanding the many aspects of what it is that destroyed our planet today. And that's why we have global climate, we've got global changes, and how lives have been affected in many different parts of the world. I think our first knowledge about it is really the tsunami, which is very close to home, and then the US, and now it's occurring more rapidly. We have to do something. And Save Our Planet Foundation is very difficult when everyone is looking for an economic return. The moment you tell someone, can you give me funds or help set me funds for funding to have a plantation, which you're doing through Supergrow Plantation, everyone is saying, where's the return? 10 years, 15 years, they're not interested. We've now been able to find cultivars, the fast-growing tea trees, eucalyptus, Acacia, Polonia, which are commercially viable between 6 to 20 years. Uh, but the challenge is how do we get the funding? How do we get everyone willing to give and donate $10 for one tree? With the trees and the planting of trees are really the livelihood of farmers whose lives and their livelihood have been compromised because of the deforestation. We now have an ability to help the farmers have income a community service where the education, their homes, and the healthcare can be taken care of. For those people who have contributed to a cultivar, the biotechnology, or the people putting together, uh, they would get the returns, but at the end of six and seven years. So everyone has to work towards it to make work. The challenge now is to get everyone involved. Um, everyone to contribute $10, or $100, or $1 million if you could, for very worthy cause. 